Today I'm going to show you a little intro tour to the new D16 Portasense 3 from ATI. Uh, to turn it on, this little cap comes down and there is a little wake up button right inside. Cover that up. It's just starting up and it'll tell you the serial number and some information about the sensor that's inside. We have an ozone zero to two parts per million sensor inside right now. As you can tell, we have no ozone in our air right now, so we're going to take a look at some of the features. It's a touch screen, so you can use the menu button to scroll around through here. We can set the alarms and type in whatever level you want to have it alert. Currently it's set at 0.5, but we could change it to 0.1. And you use this back button to get back to the other menus. You can change the display, the brightness, the main display, the timeout, and the sleep settings. You can also access your data logging. You can have it, you can change the interval settings. Currently it's set at one minute. You could set it at five minutes or you can change it to set so many seconds. Currently the data logging is off. We can turn that on. We can clear it or we can turn it on. Okay. Now it is on. Back to the main menu. You can also you can change settings on your pump control. Currently, it's on. You can also change settings in your sensor. Currently, the range is set to two parts per million. You can change that to five, or any other range that you have inside your your sensor. You can also access your calibration history. You can also set up things within your system, like changing the date or the time. Your D16 Portasense 3 will come set to Eastern Standard Time. We are not, so we can go in and change it, the time, to be Central Time by changing the time. You can change the date. You can do auto, change your auto shutdown. And you can change your sounds. You can have your alarms on or off. And when in doubt, you can always reset to the factory settings. And that's the D16. You can also shut down with this on-off switch on the touchscreen display.